Hello everybody, this is Capest Games and welcome back to Crossout. And today I finally got all of the requested items such as the ice box and the tackler machine guns. And I instantly decided to request a ton of them because we're gonna have some fun with some tacklers for today, guys. We're gonna have some fun. Uh, we're gonna be uh, building a light build with quantum. And that's gonna be great fun here. And first off, of course, the let's see, heavy lifter or hauler, hauler, maximum mass. People also always are like, I got to use for them both, really. Uh, some people are always like, why would you run either like? Most people think the tonnage one is more useful, but I'm often running um, large wheels and I just, just took out the wrong piece of frame. And do I want to keep it like this or this? I don't want to keep it like this, that's, that's probably better. And if it gets shot, that's important. <laughs> And gonna run a gas generator. Although, actually, we could run a Apollo. Let's try running Apollo. I'll have to put that thing pretty far forward and use the Apollo. Mm, let's put it right here. And for the weaponry, of course, gotta throw Taklash on. Gonna be the first two are gonna be on this height. Oh, that's the wrong way. Uh, there we go. And then the second pair is gonna be like right here. Or I could actually that's we could go wide. But now I would have to Yeah, I would have to take out this wheel. And I'm gonna make these six longs. So then we can grab let's say twin steering wheels. Actually, uh, I gotta use non steering to increase the tonnage because I'm gonna need a little bit of tonnage. And is this the issue where they cannot connect up? Uh, no, a little bit of multitasking as always. <laughs> Old high tasking, ready. <laughs> what am I saying here? Being a little really fake today. I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, well, let's check the hitboxes. Okay, the frontal wheels are blocking this. So, I think we're gonna go for normal twin wheels then. Um, let's see. I should be able to connect them up like this. Yeah, that looks nice. And that should actually give good gun stuff. Cannot fully depress them, but I can press them pretty far enough. I don't go up that much, but that's fine. And I still have four energy left. And I'm thinking about if we can fit one to put a pair of coolers here. Uh, Awkward fit here. They come out on top, and I don't really want that. Um, I was thinking like two coolers, two radiators, that would probably be best. And then running a powerful radar as well. Or we could use an Aegis Prime. Hmm. Well, Aegis Prime would probably be best for tree guns. And then I'm just actually, I think I'm just gonna go backlining and support fire. So I do not have to take the Aegis. That's probably gonna be best. Could I fit one underneath here though? Uh, does it look like I can? Aw, oh, sad. And we're gonna put two ch charge radiators like this. And the coolers like this. That fits. Got some grills. Right here to connect the guns. 
And we're going to need some armor underneath here. APC panel 2 on both sides. Then fenders, because fenders. <laughs> uh, actually, we still have, first have to fill up this gap. There we go. Now we can go to the fenders. Starting in the rear. Can I place one in the rear? Uh, can I place any here? No, I cannot. Actually, it doesn't look like... I cannot place any fenders? Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Guess twin slopes, maybe? Or... I kind of... I do have to... need something to connect this up with. Really? There we go. Now let's see what we're gonna add on the rear. <clears throat> mm, strength of ventilation slopes will probably be pretty nice here. Yeah, I like that. Bad thing. And then water walls to fill the stuff up. If I actually. Oh, the large wheels. Of course. Large wheels are gonna be an issue uh, in here. Because we're giving it like this. And then. And we need six wide rear. Or can we put eight No, you cannot put eight wide rear. Six wide rear would be these ones. Like that. That's a two by six space. So we're putting a long pipe shield. Because this is a signature two by six. Parts, there's not really any other 2x6 parts to, like, place. These are 2x2s. Auto? Wait. I... How would that look? That looks kind of nice, but not really what I want. Armor triple slopes. Not really the thing that I want either. I want to kind of, like, turn it here. But those are not really the things that I need for this. No, it's not it either. Well, I can know it. Medium struts, that should do the job. Yep, there we go. And then we actually will end up having the broken radiators in here. Let's put it upside down. So have the six white section in the center. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go quarter walls. And cover right in the back. And maybe some cover over the guns, maybe. Uh, back to armor. That will probably be like something like strike place, like this. Actually, we there. That would fit perfectly in combination with observation pot on each side and an observation pot in front. That fits perfectly. Awesome. Maybe see panel on the back and a armor triple slope right here. Nice. <laughs> Fully covering up the uh, top and all we got now it really is frontal armor. Not going to be much of frontal armor to speak of, but... Oh well. <laughs> I mean, we cannot go higher than these two blocks right here because of the guns. And that's really it. Like, it's probably just going to be buggy bumper. Because I kind of like the look of the buggy bumper and it's a decent structure. And that's really it. it, it like, all of the armor is in the back. Just to get a little bit of health. Even though, like, there's not anything on here. And I don't assume that I can actually place something like this on here. That... Oh, actually, I'm... Pretty close to mass limit here. Uh, spare tire. Good hat, hat though. Hmm... Thanks Ahoy. I gotta add the thanks Ahoy. Like for real. <laughs> I love tanks. And thanks Ahoy really is the one. And I kinda like it like 
this because it's kind of covering up the front. Let's take it right here. And probably just like some headlights in the front then. And there. Do it like that. Okay, can I fit it right there? Right there in. Oh wait, of course, these ones are three-dimensionally turned. There. Some lights are like, you don't need to turn them three-dimensional, some do. Which is really confusing sometimes. <laughs> the garage is going to be in the rear. So, nobody ever noticed it actually being there. But, except for when I honk, of course. And, I had an idea to put two of these and then a small strut. That actually looks really cool. <laughs> I'm liking this build. Putting on a lot of small detail parts. It just has like a just giant back though. It, it's a little bit disproportional. I think they should have. I should have cut it a little bit tighter here, but oh well. <laughs> kind of like this too though. Is there anything else that I want to add? Orange, maybe? Yeah, let's add some orange. And now let's go to the paint. Got some paint stuff as well. Is that like dust dummy? And even the like alpha tester one. Where is it? Where's material set? It looks cool. Even though I'm only a beta test one. And later player, they still give it gave it to me. But I think this should be the paint for it. Just gonna go a singleton paint job here, really simple. And we're gonna go right into battle to test it out. So uh, as far as like I test it, these guns are just like even a harder hitting defenders for the same pri like pretty much same price. And like energy although they have a higher power score so this is an 8.6 power score vehicle and well you could mount five and shred people but you probably like top mount them that's a different video like top mount them so like that you can elevate and you can actually like in especially in this map where you're like under the bridge you can actually hit on top of the bridge and that's a lot of those freaking <laughs> Uh, exhaust, wow. It's been a while since I used machine guns. I've been running a lot of tsunami cannons lately. <laughs> now, we got an artillery unit. And, ooh, that's an enemy crossing the bridge, so I'm gonna support him coming in and flank. He's pretty damn dead. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. That's a lot of apple cannon fire. Oh, kill assist. <laughs> it would have been a kill sale on so I don't mind. I thought he was, like, more alive, so to say. Can I understand that? Yep, there I can. Nice. There we go. These guns aren't that accurate. I don't seem to have that much range. Really. That's probably like the redeeming factor for the damage. Although I guess bigger targets right here. Wow. Nice. That's a lot of damage output. Really. Ouch. These are just dro these are just drone removal instantly. Wow, it's like brrrt, gone. Awesome. I actually am liking these guns. Oh hello. Oh, 
Oh, that's a big cannon. There's sure. Ah, don't push me! Thank you. Now I'm almost dead. <laughs> Good job. You go deal with that guy. I'll go deal with the artillery guy. Oh, where is he? Oh, I guess I'll just fire like this. No. Ooh! That's scary for a second. Where did it come from? <laughs> right in front of me. Okay. GG. Nice. I was been inside his firing range and he probably would have died anyways, but... These tacklers... Like, have an even more insane output of damage than I thought they would have. I'm still talking about their, uh, like, astronomical looks. Like, one barrel is almost perfectly symmetrical, and the other one is, like, at three quarters. Like, why would you do that? Like, come on. Oh, I'm gonna kick out the server. But I should, like, damage test these in a while. I'll probably cover, like, their stats and compare them to the defenders and decide if they're worth it, because currently... Battle. I'll check. I'll check them in a second. But uh, they're like 500, if I'm not mistaken. Now, maybe even more. They're definitely powerful weapons, and I can't wait for them actually to be craftable for the public, because only people that like have a lot of coins or either are really far into the game and don't really have anything else they want, or the guys that are like paying for stuff and don't mind paying extra for an epic. Of this grade. So basically the wallet warrior shenanigans. <laughs> no. Haha, -ha, your turns well, let's fire through a wall, man. And you just blocked your allies' cannons. Good job. <laughs> that was not a that was a pretty good attack run right there. Still have not taken damage, so that's good. Ouch, that's the first hit. Everything survived though, but I do have an exposed generator now. Uh I'm gonna go for the cannon guy. He's gonna be shooting first. And shredding them. Those are a lot of missile. Can you not leave me upside down, please? You just pushed me into... Wow. Thanks, man. Thank you. Better route. This guy is nice, though. Thank you. I keep forgetting that I'm running this horn. I like nut nut, but then like, then that sounds comes. Ah, oh, didn't get them. They're, these things are worse at intercepting those missiles because of the bad accuracy, and they are at like more bigger targets. I would say. Explosives spotted. Nice. Well, didn't expect that to be a wanted kill. Let's try to get some of the missiles. Oh well. Out of elevation. Rip. Where are the guys? Oh, there he is. Oh, draw. GG. That guy definitely did some work with those freaking missiles. <laughs> Guess that's the downside of these guns. They're really great against those things. But let's see. Tech. Learn. 662. 
I should have to do a stat comparison for these compared to defenders to really determine if they're worth it. But like, I I don't I don't think they're actually worth it for six sixty two. But if you're really end game and you really like that playstyle, I mean they're exact same energy amount, and they're seven hundred five compared to the defenders five fifty five. But that is like one fifty for almost like one point five to two times the damage output. That's nuts. These things are definitely on a higher power level than defenders, and defenders already are pretty decent weapons. Like, there are, of course, there are better weapons with better power levels overall compared to the power score. But for this gun, that power level is probably like the power score is a little bit too low, and the power level is a little bit too high. If you guys like understand what I'm saying here, <laughs> man, these are really, really like powerful guns. Like I expect like them to be more power score. I still think they should have done like uh, power score dependent on the weapon power of like the the power of the weapon more than just like giving every like um every part is getting a as like so uh, so much um uh, power score and the power score is dependent on their energy usage and rarity mainly over some of the other stuff come on intercept at least one well at least walls helped Oh, those aren't locking on, are they? No, they're not. Oh, those are. Oh, yeah, there's cloak. Nice. Oh, sorry, man. God, I got it in your way. You got shot. Ouch. This is gonna hurt. Thank God for top armor. No. No. Bad missile spammer. Got one of the launchers. Oh, kill assist, nice. Okay, machine gun user right here. Ah, uh, my health didn't add up. <sighs> probably the wasps in the end. Those are probably the ones that actually caused me to lose that much health that I would get destroyed right there. Or just the missiles, but the missiles mainly stripped my top armor. I'm definitely liking these guns. I'm probably going to save this build just to like have a grinder to uh, like at my disposal. Still think they need to add some incentive to go at high tier though. Like I'm liking using I I do like big builds. But for me I generally like enjoy using my the most evil build I so far ever made. I'll probably do a video about it soon. And a lot of people are you are gonna hate me for actually building it. Because it's a tsunami cannon trike. So it's only using three wheels. At 200, 200, uh, two, sorry, 2260 power score. Nothing more, nothing less. Like, it's exactly 2260. Oh. It's one of the most broken builds I've built so far. It, 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 it's so low. I'll put, and I'll grant you that kill because I don't want to steal. Oh, wow. Did up getting the, getting the kill. Didn't mean to, but he's self-destructed. It's not stopping far. It just, just, just continues firing and cools instantly. Nice. Got some damage out on that guy. Pass. Don't, worry, don't need to kill still. This guy has a gun. Uh, that's now gone. 
Gonna get Auger next. There we go. Denying him from his drone. And now telling this guy to die. Here we go. 130, 130, 130, 130. Like, come on. That's so much damage. That's so much damage. Why do the developers keep on adding such powerful guns for, like, limited access? It's kind of bad. But oh well. I think I'm gonna keep it at that for the video. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching. Uh, still having, like, not that much time to upload. And still sad about it, but I try to keep us, like, uploading as often as I can. And, yeah. Again, I hope you guys all enjoyed. It was the Capus Games, and I'll catch you guys all later. Bye, guys.